In this video I'm going to talk to you about custom functions. Um, in PHP basically you can create your own functions. Um, if you don't know what a function is, basically it is just something like this. Um, yeah, you should know what a function is, but for example, um, mysql underscore connect, like that, that is a function. Okay, that will do something and then for this, for this specific function, you need three parameters to be filled into that. Um, so basically that's a function, um, the name of the function and then in brackets you've got your parameters if there is if you need to specify it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do first on this index page, um, we're going to have some PHP code up there um, later on, but down here first I'm just going to create um, a quick form and basically the form will come together you'll see why I'm creating a form um, on this later on okay um, that should just about be okay so if I just um, so we've got something like that the user types something in here and then they click add to database and it will be automatically added um, so this is basically just simple stuff here uh, so PHP down here <coughs> what we're going to do is if basically this is just basically something that you should already know now um, is set dollar underscore um, post submit and then basically we're just going to um, this is going to create functions as well in here to add it to the database basically the whole of this page is going to be functions now so up here we need to require require is also a function as well um, and in the parameter is the file and um, functions.php ok so now if I just um, cancel that reload the page as you can see no errors or anything um, so don't know why that's coming up like that. Um, anyway, um, so in functions.php, we're just going to create a list of functions that will connect to the database, um, add messages to the database, and then find the messages, find messages that are coming in the database to echo out to the user. So the first one we're going to create is a function called connect and basically a function to start creating the function you need to have um, the word function and then the name of what you want to call the function and then two curly brackets and then on new lines um, opening curly brackets again um, so now basically you should know how to connect to a database so um, one two seven, just like that, and then we need to select a um, database. Oh yeah, MySQL underscore select DB, and I created a table earlier on, um, basically a functions table, functions database. Uh, the table is called messages and the structure is id which is an integer auto increment and a primary key um, and a message varchar 50 length um, ok so in that we just need to put the um, just like that and then basically back in index.php um, all we need to do then is just um, down here where we want to add a message to the database basically all you have to do is just type connect like that and that is it that's it that's the function so it makes it a lot easier to um, to control like to add things so instead of um, so every time you are connected to the database all you have to do is type connect 
even though I use something require which is also equal but here here is where now we are going to create something that's actually useful so function add message okay and in here we're going to say um, the message is dollar underscore post message Oops. Um, mysql underscore query uh, that okay and in here we're going to have insert into from oh no it's the um, table this time not the message um, values and we have two values if you remember uh, first one was ID second one was message and we are just going to redirect the user back to um, index.php okay so then all we need to do under here is just type add message and basically that will then add a message to the database so as you can see writing that writing that once and then writing that a few times is a lot easier if you see what I mean so instead of writing that out five times for five different message inserts you can just type that out once uh, require it in a in the page and then just type add message so let's go ahead and try this out now so if I go back to here refresh the page I can just type in this is a message click add okay and if I just refresh here oh this has not been added one second and uh, let me just check this insert into I think it's messages yes it's not message it's messages so let's just uh, this is a message adds database and as you can see we've um, got an ID 5 on there but don't forget about it don't, don't, um, the ID is not really that important um, and we've got this is a message in there so now we're going to create a function that will find any messages and display them out to the user so um, function oops function um, find messages and in here we're going to use the function connect to connect to the database um, and then we're going to create a query here which is equal to um, mysql underscore query and you've probably guessed it by now select all from messages um, just going to create a while loop here while's also a function um row is equal to mysql underscore fetch underscore xlock that's a function as well basically php is has preset functions for to make life easier for you but you can create your own if you wish so message is equal to row oops message and then we're going to simply just echo um message with a paragraph uh, a break on there okay so that's functions.php done and in here basically all we need to do is um, write here uh, before the if is set because we want it to find the messages even if we've not posted anything so find message um, mess a messages I think it was yes fine messages so that should work out perfectly fine now so if I just refresh the page this is a message and if I type um, another message um oops let me just check okay that's gone in okay so basically what we need to do is refresh the page to view these okay anyway um that's basically functions don't worry about the uh, it not showing up straight away um, but I was just talking about functions so basically a function is something that you can 
um, a a custom function that you create is something that will make your life coding in PHP a lot more easier because um, as you can see here um, find messages it will basically um, run this code every time you put find messages there so if I want to create a um, new page for example um, I can just type in PHP obviously I would have to require the um, the functions page first of all but then all I would have to type is find messages into there uh, just save this into here um, page.php and so basically if I just go to page.php spell it wrong as you can see the uh, messages are coming up there just from typing in um, basically you got your tag so two lines of code basically will find any messages from the database so it does make life coding in PHP a lot easier and it also makes the page look neater as well just having that instead of having the whole of that in the entire page so that's functions Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.